First, I'm going to show you the finger picking pattern, and then I'll show you the chords, and you can use whichever one you want. If you've never seen a tab before, the six lines represent the six strings, except the top string is actually the bottom line. The numbers represent which fret you're playing on. If you're using a capo, which I am, it's relative to the capoed fret, and if you don't have a capo, it'll be relative to the open string. So first we're going to start with this part. This is a simple change, just from the second finger on the fifth string to the first finger on the third string. The next part's also pretty straightforward. Then this run is actually the only tricky part of this riff. I'm using hammer-ons here, so I'm going to play the open string and then hammer onto the fret to make the sound without actually plucking with your right hand. And then in the fourth to the fifth string, I'm going to pluck again and then hammer on with that pinky. Now try this one out. The hammer-ons are a little tough if you've never done them before. And if you can't get it, then you can just pick each of the notes individually. But try out the hammer-ons. It does make it a little bit smoother sounding. It's a subtle difference, but these little subtle differences are really what make your playing stand out. So then after that, we're going to move into the next bar. And we're just repeating the first bar. Then you're going to do a very similar thing in the last bar to what the second bar was. So all together slowly, that's going to sound like this. And if you want to make that even more interesting and try out the 5 Minute Guitar Pro version of this riff, you can get that by subscribing to our Patreon by clicking here or in the link in the description below. Here's the Pro version. So that one's pretty much running throughout the entire song, but you can switch it up to make it more interesting and throw in some chords here. If you want to play the chords, then we're going to follow the same kind of rhythm as the finger picking version. Now don't let these chords scare you, they are a lot easier than they sound. We're going to start on a C major 7, then switch to a D, then to a B7, and then back to a C major 7. And the timing is going to be kind of the same as we're playing in the finger picking rhythm. And the key to this one is the song is really smooth and slow, so you want to play it nice and easy and gently so that it really captures the vibe of the song. Now you can play those for the entire song, but if you want to make it even more interesting for yourself to play and for people to listen to, you can speed it up, make the strumming pattern a little bit bigger and fuller in the faster parts of the song, or mainly in the parts where that nice drum rhythm comes in, the where you've got that consistent bass beat there. So by throwing on the same chord progression with a few more chords, we can make this a lot fuller sounding. So you can hear how we're playing the same chords we were playing for the last part, except we're just throwing in a few more strums. And this is a bit of a complicated strumming pattern for me to explain, so it is probably easiest for you just to follow along with the down and ups on the screen, and then listen to it and try and play it yourself and see if you can play along with me. So we're going to use the exact same chord changes at the same times as the last strumming pattern, but we're going to make this one a little bit fuller. So see if you can follow along at a slow speed. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, down. 
So really, it's up to you where you want to put these parts of the song. We use the same chord progression for this entire song, so all three of these parts will work for the entire thing. Now, I usually like to put the lighter, softer parts in the lighter, softer parts of the song, and then the fuller parts, like that fuller chord progression, in the parts that are a little fuller to kind of match the rises and falls of the song. And usually the artists have thought a lot about where they want to put the rises and falls in the song. So following along with their version is a really good starting point, but you can always make it your own, make some parts faster or slower or louder or softer if you want to. It's really up to you as the one doing the cover. And with that, if you can play those parts, you can play the entire song. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already to get more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next five minute guitar lesson.